Hey everybody, welcome back to The Garage. If this is your first time visiting my channel, please go ahead and click on subscribe, and also click on that bell to receive all the updates and activities on my channel. All right, so this is part two of the uh, Ultra 680 engine reassembly process. Uh, the, if, if you're new to this, go ahead and click on the playlist and they'll bring you up to date as far as what has transpired at, at this point and everything we're gonna do going forward. All right, so in the previous video, we went ahead and prepped the cases and we moved all the uh, old silicone. We, uh, you know, we cleaned the deck we, we, uh, with scotch Bright. We chased all the holes with a, a thread chaser and we got both sides of the cases all set to go. We, get, we have our, our oil seals right here, right? So what, what I've done is I've elevated the, the, uh, one of the uh, halves of the case up on a couple blocks because uh, this is the top case, that's the bottom, and this is the uh, kind of the orientation you're going to want it to be in. So we've added a couple blocks, so when we when we drop the, the crank in, um, it doesn't hit on the end of the on the bottom of the table. It allow the uh, the rods to hang there freely and allow us to work. All right, so if you're up to, if you're at this point, uh, you shouldn't e even need to wear gloves because everything is clean at this point. Um, and honestly, I would recommend not wearing gloves because uh, when you're doing the engine assembly, you want to know if you're getting dirty or anything like that. And if you are getting dirty, that's a sign to stop what you're doing because you haven't done the uh, correct amount of prep. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is um, we're going to take the oil seals and we're, we're going to put them on the crank. But before we do that, we're going to hit them with, a, with some grease on both ends. Because what's going to happen is uh, when this when the engine first uh, starts up, it's going to be for the most part it's going to be dry, and, in, and until the oil injection works and everything is primed and everything else, you don't want these oil seals running dry. Um, so by putting a little bit of grease on it, it'll keep it wet and it'll, it'll uh, allow them not to burn out. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and. Uh, Move the camera over. We'll just insert the oil seals and show you what we're talking about. All right, so we're on the the, uh, the magneto side of the crank, and this is where the oil seal rides. So first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that this surface is nice and clean. There's no rust or junk on it because if there if there is, it's going to tear up the oil seal. So all we're going to do is we're going to take the seal. We're just going to put a little bit of grease on it. Again, you don't need a lot. Just enough. To coat it and what we'll do we'll also put some on the uh, that side of the crank all right smear it all the way around and then you know, put the seal on just like that so we're gonna do the same thing on the other side Okay, now that we have the, the oil seals on the crank, what you want to do now is you want to take some two-stroke oil, and what we're going to do is we're going to uh, put it on all the journals in the uh, the uh, the grooves for the for the um, for the drive for the water pump. You're going to put oil in there on both sides, and uh, you know just use it pretty liberally. And don't worry about the uh, the tops of the case because we're going to clean those. Uh, after to make sure everything's clean before we use the uh, the uh, the case bond. So just take some oil, put some on your finger, and just put it in the journals. Don't worry about using too much; it's gonna get burned off anyway. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna uh, lubricate the outer part of the bearing. Just go ahead, pour some on there and just let it spin. That's fine. Because believe it or not, this is how 
they get oiled internally when the, uh, the engine's running. The actual oil comes through the top of the, uh, the oiling holes and it drips on to the bearings. So it may seem strange that we're doing it that, this way, but this is how the engine actually operates. Just make sure everything's lubricated up pretty good. Just go ahead, oil them up, and do the do the same thing for all of them. All right. So one thing you want to prep for is if you look on all the bearings, there's a little pin sticking out of them. So what what these are for? These are called anti-rotation pins. So it'll allow it's basically it'll stop the the bearings from rotating inside the case. Um, so what you want to do is, and there's uh, marks, there's actually grooves in the case that actually correspond with the alignment pins. So what you want to do is, before you get ready to drop the crank in, you want to kind of get those in the up position. You want to find where they all are, and just set them in where they need to go. All right. All right. So looking at the case, here are the grooves that are going to uh, contain the uh, the anti. Um, roll pins or whatever you want to call them, the anti-rotation pins. There's one right there, there's one right there, 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 and there. All right, so what we need to do is, because uh, this crank is a little bit different than others, because it has the the um, the gear for the water pump, and there's two seals on it. So not only do you have to line up the crank and the, and the, and the anti-rotation pins, you also have to line up the seals uh, that are on the crank with the grooves on the case. All right, so we're gonna pick up the crank. And we're gonna slowly drop it down, looking at the oil seals, and also looking at the, uh, everything in. All right, so what you wanna look for is you wanna look to make sure that your oil seal is in the right spot, the, uh, the water pump crank seals, whatever you wanna call these, are in, in the right position and everything else. So what you want to do now is we're going to essentially we're going to lift up the crank a little bit and just we're going to move the anti-rotation pins down in the uh, the position where they need to go. So there's one, two, All right, so with everything dropped in, just go ahead and grab the crank and make sure everything is spinning the way as it should and nothing is binding up and we look pretty good. All right, so now that we have the uh, crank in the upper part of the case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna prep the bottom of the case um, for sealing. And this is what I'm gonna use, I'm using Ultra Gray. You can use Ultra Gray, you can use Yamabon, uh, there's a Honda product, um, but regardless of what you use, um, you need to use something on these cases. Because if you don't, even though it's flat and everything else, there are certain imperfections within the cases. And if you don't use sealant, you're gonna have a leak and you're gonna have the issue which we originally started off with. So what you're gonna do is you don't need a lot, um, what you're going to do is you're just going to take your um, silicone and you go around the entire thing and again we're not going to go too heavy because all we want is a thin layer of it. We're not trying to uh, caulk a uh, bathroom tub or anything like that and we're only doing it on one side of it so we're going to start with the bottom and then we'll, um, we'll then uh, marry the, uh, the bottom case to the top one. And 
when you're doing this, uh, make sure you're not plugging away any uh, water passages. But what you're really looking for is you want to get complete coverage all the way around all your fasteners. And what we'll do is once we get this in, get this on, we're going to spread it out. Right, now while it's still wet, I'm just going to take a little acid brush and I'm going to smear it all over the surfaces. So once you're satisfied with your coverage, no big globs or anything or anything like that, what you want to do is while this thing is still wet, you want to go ahead and put it on the, uh, the other part of the case so it makes a bond. I just realized you didn't see that. Sorry guys, I didn't realize the uh, camera was in frame. Alright, so we've dropped the... Uh, the case onto the uh, the second half of it and we're good so all we're gonna do now is I'm just gonna uh, kind of go around with my finger clean up any excess that may have squeezed out all right so the next step is while the uh, the uh, silicone is still wet um, what you want to do is you're gonna insert all your fasteners right and you're gonna run them down but all you're going to do is, we're ju you're just going to finger tight them. That's all you're going to do. And you're going to do finger tight. And then you got to wait 24 hours before you can torque it. Um, depending on some products that you may use, you may have a, a, a longer open time. But with this particular one, you got to wait 24 hours before you can go to final torque. Okay, so I'm going to take my impact and I'm just going to run them down real lightly, starting from the center, working our, our way out.
All right, so we went around, we put all the fasteners in, and they're snug. And if you look, we got a good bead of silicone coming out of the case and everything else. So, like I said, uh, this uh, Ultra Gray, it's a 24-hour set. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave this thing overnight, and then we'll come back tomorrow. We'll do the final torque, and then we'll start the final assembly on the top end. All right, if there's any questions, thoughts, concerns, Go ahead and leave them in the comments box. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day. See ya. Bye.